I'm thinking of adopting an 11 month old German Shepherd. He's not leash trained, but does know a few commands. He's strong and I don't have a clue how to begin leash training. He's in a shelter and only has another week. I want him, but I need help with leash training. That's a very good question. And when it comes to rescuing a dog, an 11 month old dog, before starting with any kind of training, I would really look at the dog's history. So hopefully in this case, that's already been done. The dog's already been screened. Hopefully this person as well has already been screened and the rescue has deemed that they are a good fit. So assuming that they are a good fit and we're hopefully not looking at reactivity concerns, meaning the dog is rather well socialized, maybe potentially there's some over excitement or over arousal or just a dog not knowing how to interact, but hopefully it hasn't gotten to the point of reactivity, then leash training is definitely where you want to go next. But I wouldn't rush into much training just yet. I know the word training here is probably being used very generally, very broadly, but where I would begin more than anything is bond building. And by that, I mean, as soon as your dog comes to your new home, I wouldn't start leash training just yet. I would start doing things inside your home, like letting your dog sniff around or walking your dog inside if he feels comfortable with you fairly early on and with a leash, if that association is already there. And we can start with just walking inside, just maybe tossing a few treats here and there, creating that association of walking together inside an environment that is new, new for your dog, but not too stimulating not too overly engaging, not too overly distracting, because that alone will let you know whereabouts your dog is at. And if he responds really well, if he checks in with you naturally while you're walking indoors, if he is very responsive, if he's very attentive to you, then the next step, and this could be within the same day, but even better if this is within the next few days, start your walks with just a few steps outside, a few steps back in, a few more steps outside, and a few more steps back in so that your dog is not so much focused on on walking rather walking with you i know a lot of pet parents where the focus of the walk is walking for 30 minutes it's being outside for 30 minutes and that can be great if both you and your dog are enjoying the walk if both you and your dog feel connected in tune with one another otherwise i would instead focus on just walking with your dog taking a few steps out and coming back in because that's going to keep your dog guessing a little bit oh we're outside but it's not really about continuing to walk it's about walking with you it's about going back with you and then maybe we'll head out maybe we won't maybe we'll go into a room maybe we'll go further out into the block this time or closer to the street or maybe we're, we'll cross the street but if there isn't that conversation between you and your dog in a way that you feel as though my dog is with me and your dog naturally checks in with you as well then you have no room for training meaning if there is no communication then training when it comes to really tackling the lessons the things you want your dog to do you want to first make sure that you have that bond because training is going to be a lot more successful for you both as a result. Once you get your 11 month old German Shepherd, focus on building your bond. Focus on paying attention to how he's feeling when you do take a step out versus inside because that tells you quite a lot and then you can take baby steps to help him through that. Baby steps to help yourself through that so that you're both enjoying every little step that you're taking on your walks.